Hi everyone and welcome to our next lesson for our personal narrative unit. Today we're going to be taking all of those story ideas that you came up with yesterday and narrowing it down to something I call a seed story. So a seed story focuses on just one small moment in time. So your ideas are probably right now a watermelon story, which means that it's a bigger topic. So what we want to do is take that watermelon story and make it into a slice, a watermelon slice, which is even smaller. And then finally, a seed, which is the smallest thing. For example, watermelon story would be a story about my trip to the zoo because there would be a whole bunch of things that you could write about. Maybe you went to a bunch of different exhibits. Maybe you have lunch there. Maybe you went to see your favorite animal with your cousin while you were there. So there could be so many topics. That's why it's a big watermelon. So we're going to narrow that down and make it even smaller into a slice. So maybe I want to write a story about my favorite animals from my trip to the zoo. So we're taking that story about the trip to the zoo and we're making it even more specific. Then we're going to take that and make it even more specific into that seed topic. So I might just talk about a story about feeding the giraffe when I went to the zoo. So that would be your seed topic. So today I want you guys to go into your Google Drive and find your story ideas slide that you did yesterday. Here's one that I've already filled out. So I've got my memories and I made one for memories with Mr. Yatsko, my husband. Something special that we've done is have our wedding when we got our dog Bailey, buying our first house and going to Mexico. And then a time I felt some strong emotions, I have my nervous, sad, angry, scared, and happy. So yours should be completely filled out. And your job today is to take your ideas and narrow it down by choosing your top three ideas. So once you pick your top three ideas out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that you have brainstormed, I want you to highlight them. So let's see. My top three would definitely be when we got Bailey. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight it. And then at the top of my toolbar, you see this highlighter, it says highlight color. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna highlight it to green. So that's definitely one of my top threes. Hmm, what else? I would say, hmm, buying our first house would be in my top three. I'm gonna click and highlight that. And then let's see, my third would be our wedding. So I'm choosing all three memories, but you might choose one of these strong emotions. Um, doesn't matter. You get to choose the top three ideas that you think you can write a really good story on. After you choose your top three ideas, I want for you to share those three ideas with another person. Tell them about those three ideas and try to figure out which one is going to be the one that you want to write your personal narrative on. So if I were to talk to somebody about these, it's going to help me kind of work through those ideas and choose which one I think is the best. And I'm going to pretend that I've already had that conversation and choose when we got Bailey. So this is going to be the story that I'm going to choose to write about. So today you're going to have a personal narrative digital notebook. It's going to look like this. So you're going to write your name here, and this is going to stay in your Google Drive. And any time that we work on our personal narrative, you're going to go to your Google Drive and find this digital notebook so that you can continue working after the lesson that I give you. So today we're going to be working on slide four, narrowing a topic to a seed story. So my watermelon story for the topic that I chose would be when Mr. Yatsko and I went to get Bailey. I'll say our dog, Bailey. 
Okay, so that's my watermelon topic. I want to make that a little bit smaller and more specific. So I'm going to say maybe the uh, being in the barn with all of the puppies because we adopted her from a farm and there were a bunch of puppies there. So being in the barn with all of the puppies would be even more specific about that trip to go get our dog Bailey. And then finally, I'm gonna make that even smaller and more specific. So I'm going to say, when Bailey jumped up on my ankle, because she was so itty bitty. And let me hold her for the first time. And boy, I have a ton of details about that moment, that seed moment that I will write about in my personal narrative in one of our future lessons and you guys will get to hear about. So I took my topic that I chose Right here, out of the three, I chose when we got Bailey. That's what I want to write my story about. In this digital notebook, after you choose your idea, I want you to write that idea in your watermelon space. Make that idea even more specific. And then finally, narrow it down to a seed topic, a very small moment in that during that time. All right, I can't wait to see how you guys do with your seed story. Please share your personal narrative notebook with your homeroom teacher when you get done doing that activity for today. And remember to press play on the video during the practice below so that you can find out how to get to your Google Drive. And that will definitely help you and will be such a great tool for you guys to continue working on some of these bigger projects like we're doing in writing. Have fun and I can't wait to read all about your seed stories today.